Have you ever been shopping online and come across products that look too weird to be real? You almost want to purchase them just to see what the heck they are. Well, put your wallet away because I've already bought them for you. Yep, I've been trawling through Wish.com, the online marketplace where you can buy just about anything for next to nothing. And I mean anything. So I've bought the weirdest, craziest, and most insane products I could find just to review them for your viewing pleasure. Now, sit back and relax as we take a look at some of the stupidest stuff I've bought in my entire life. My credit card company is going to have so many questions. Inept Egg Topper I love a boiled egg and toast soldiers. A classic breakfast food. Now, most normal people just slice the top off the egg with a knife or spoon. But Wish offers a dedicated $7 utensil for this task, an eggshell topper. Apparently, all you need to do is repeatedly beat the bead on top of the egg and you'll be able to easily get to your egg through a perfectly circular opening. Well, I like the neatness promised here, so I bought one to try it out. There weren't any additional instructions on the packaging, so I boiled up some eggs, put one in my novelty egg cup, and beat the bead. Okay, well, it did take a sort of circular section off the top, but it also shattered the rest of the shell, turning my meal into a mess. I tried using it on a few more boiled eggs with different levels of force, but none of them gave me that satisfying circular top. So I figured I should try it on a raw egg, like they do in the photos. That must be where I'm going wrong, right? Here we go. Oh, damn it. Well, I did get the circular top, but it's now somewhere inside the rest of the egg. Great. Maybe I beat the bead a little too hard. Either way, this is way more hassle than just cracking the egg open or using a knife. Verdict, messy and unnecessary. Terrible toilet cover. Are you an enemy of interior design? Then clearly you need this three-piece lace toilet seat cover in your life for just $25 Aside from looking hideous and weirdly unhygienic, it comes in a range of colors. So, obviously, I got it in the worst color possible for the bathroom, brown. Now, as bad as it looks, this thing smelled even worse. For some reason, it stank of cigarette smoke. But it'd take more than that to stop me reviewing it. So the piece that fits over the toilet cistern was easy enough to slip on, as was the cloth over the lid. But what surprised me was that the part that goes over the rim of the toilet is zipped on. So, careful not to accidentally dip one half of the cover into the water, I was able to zip this foul-smelling and looking thing onto my toilet. And voila, now my toilet looks as vile as the stuff that usually goes in it. Verdict, pretty sh**, but without the pretty. Funny Fish Slippers have you ever looked down and gone, wow, I wish my feet were 100% uglier? Then maybe Wish's $16 fish slippers are the answer to your problem. I can't for any reason think of what practical purpose these serve, other than as a joke. So, obviously, I ordered a pair and, trust me, they look just as ugly in real life as they do in the photos. Okay, I have quite big feet, so I ordered the largest size available, a US 9.5, and, a half. and um, well, they were a little bit snug, to say the least. Walking around was a bit of a challenge, too, though the noise they made did genuinely sound like a fish being slapped down with every step. Verdict, as funny as they are fishy. Freaky Fish Mask After ordering the fish slippers, I wondered if there were any other fishy products on Wish. So I did a quick search and oh my god, nightmares are real. I don't know what's creepier, the fact this fish mask has huge nostrils or that you're supposed to see out of them. According to the description, this is a very realistic mask that's perfect for mischief. Naturally, I had to spend $14 on this thing just to test out how realistically mischievous it really was. And I'll admit, I forgot I'd ordered it, so when it arrived with those dead eyes looking at me through the plastic packaging, I nearly had to change my underwear. 
Out of the packaging, it didn't look much better, and it smelt vile, like vinegar and moldy cheese. Ugh. But I'll do just about anything for you guys, so I put it on, and, well, what do you guys think? Do I look like a realistically mischievous fish? Well, the nostril eye holes definitely aren't as big as they seem in the photos and are pretty difficult to see out of, but the smell was so bad I had to take it off after a few seconds. Well, are you guys ready for a face reveal? Drumroll, please. I gotcha. Not today, I'm afraid. Verdict? Mischief? Yes. Realistic? No. Pregnant pause. As I was scrolling through the endlessly weird items on Wish, I started to wonder if there was anything on here specifically for women. And just as I asked that question, this utterly insane item popped up. Yep, this is a fake pregnancy belly, a silicone slab designed to help women look like they're two to five months pregnant. It's a prosthetic that can supposedly be used for maternity modeling or screen performances something I really wanted to put to the test. One click and an oddly expensive $72 later, and I am horrified to say that this thing arrived looking exactly like it did in those promo photos. Once I got it out of the packaging, I was genuinely surprised by how squishy it was, and also how flat it seemed. It looked more like a case of slight bloating than a pregnancy. The more I unwrapped, the weirder it got. While I'm guessing the strip helps keep the whole thing adhered to the body, the underside of the belly is also super sticky. It felt so tacky that I didn't really want to touch it, let alone stick it to my body. Verdict? More of a beer belly than a baby belly. Terrifying Toenail Straightener Have you ever gotten an ingrown toenail? Man, it's the worst. The nail grows into the skin on the toe, making it super painful. Doctors usually advise surgery, or to just wait for it to grow out, but on Wish, there's another solution at hand. A $4 ingrown toenail fixer. From a glance, this thing looks more like a torture device than a medical treatment. It's designed to hook under the sides of your nail and, horrifyingly, pull them up while placing pressure on the middle. Like a corkscrew for your tootsies. But if it's being sold next to weird fish masks and stinky toilet seat covers, it can't be a serious solution, can it? Well, when it arrived, it came with no instructions, no description, no nothing. So I was left to figure out the mechanics myself, and I tried it out on my thumbnail. Not my greatest idea. Trying to get this to hook under the sides of my finger was so fiddly. And because the middle screw section was just a metal block, it doesn't get any grip on the nail and slides right off. After trying again, I managed to sickeningly hook the device under and ugh, uh, balance it for a whole five seconds before it broke apart under the pressure. Verdict? Totally useless. Fake worm fail. Have you ever been going about your daily business and suddenly found yourself needing a handful of fake worms? No? Literally never? Well, lucky for you, Wish offers this exact product for some reason. Okay, upon further reading, these are meant to be realistic lures used for fishing that even have a fishy smell. Now, I've never fished before, but anything described as having a fishy smell makes me a little uneasy. So, of course, I ordered some for the oddly specific price of $3.73. They came in a package that was a little smaller than my palm. Not exactly the overflowing handfuls of mega worms I thought I was getting. They were also really short, small, and the only thing they smelled like was disappointment. Now, I'm no detective, but that photo of a big juicy worm is drastically different than the item I received. Have Wish just used a photo of someone with an actual handful of earthworms and tried to pass it off as this pitiful product? Shame on you, Wish. Think of all the poor fishing fanatics you've duped. Never mind fish. With worms this small, those guys won't even be able to catch a break. Verdict? Useless. Terrible Teeth just when you think you've already seen some of the worst nightmare-inducing products out there, you find one that makes you realize God is well and truly dead. 
Yep, what you're looking at are sets of fake teeth. Like their existence wasn't freaky enough, they're also made of resin, meaning they're not actually suitable for proper dental work. So what on earth are they meant to be used for? To find out, I ordered a set, and I regretted the decision immediately. Look at them. They're presented like a big flat mouth, which just makes me itch. But I faced my fears and went as far as to get them out of the packaging, and then immediately dropped them. They're just so horribly realistic. With no description on the packaging to indicate what you might use them for, I looked to reviews and who on earth makes a plate with teeth? Okay, trying not to think about that too much, I took a look at some of the photos people uploaded in their reviews and you know what? It's fine. I never wanted to sleep again anyway. Verdict? Nightmare fuel. Tongue tied. Because the teeth weren't horrifying enough, I decided to scar myself further by searching up other mouth horrors and found this. Yep, it's a fake tongue. Perfect for magic tricks and practical jokes, apparently. But at just $6, how realistic will this wish one look? To find out, I bought one and it arrived like this. Ugh. Looks more like a mafia threat than a product. Once I got it out of the packaging, it did look pretty realistic. It was super elastic, just as promised, and did, for all intents and purposes, look like a real tongue, except for the color. It might not be coming through on the camera, but this thing is brown. Hardly the healthy-looking pink it seems to be in the photos. Verdict? Probably sick. Pimple Popper Some people really enjoy watching pimples get popped. The topic has exploded in popularity over platforms like YouTube, and while I don't personally see the appeal, hey, plenty of people do. I'm guessing that's why Wish has an $11 pimple-popping toy on its marketplace. According to the description, fake pus is injected into the holes of the silicone slab for persistent pimple pickers to push out. Well, doesn't sound like my idea of a good time, but let's give it a try. The slab of silicone comes with a disgustingly named vial of pimple pus, which is a concoction of beeswax and oil. Despite being called a toy, these ingredients make it unsafe for children, so we're already off to a good start here. Using the pipette it came with, I filled each of the individual holes in with the weirdly lumpy mixture. It was a total pain because the mixture was so thick the pipette wouldn't suck it up and it broke almost instantly. However, I persevered and got the mixture in the holes, and then it was popping time. Oh, ew. If popping pimples didn't feel wrong to me before, they sure as hell do now. The not-quite-human skin and oily substance make for a super strange experience that doesn't feel satisfying at all. Verdict? Messy, gross, and unfathomably weird. Unusual Urn Ring When someone you love passes away, you want something special to remember them by. Some people wear a locket with something of theirs inside it. Others put a photo of them in their wallet. But people who shop on Wish are presented with this arguably more disturbing option. An urn ring for just $5.85. It's a little odd, but it comes with a free gift of a miniature screwdriver. So how could I resist? It arrived looking like any other stainless steel ring just with a massive screw in the top of it. Along with the promised screwdriver, giant screw aside, this one honestly doesn't look all that bad. But how much of my dead mother-in-law can I fit inside? Well, annoyingly, my free gift screwdriver is a little too small and fiddly for this screw, so it took me a while to get it out. And once I did, strangely, the inside wasn't completely hollow. There was just the slot where the screw fit. So I did my best to fit as much of my mother-in-law in there as possible and barely managed more than a sprinkle. Oh, and just for clarity, this isn't actually my mother-in-law. That old bag will never die. Anyway, with the ring filled up, I put the screw back in and the final result is uh, messy. Bits of ash get stuck around the rim and in the screw port, so you really need some sort of tiny funnel for this. But if you don't mind wiping up the ashes of your loved ones off the floor afterwards, this works just fine. 
verdict. Messy, but yay, free, useless mini screwdriver. Dust Mop Shoes There's got to be an easier way to get the dust, dirt, and, after that last product, the ashes of your loved ones off your floor. Instead of getting out the mop and bucket, Wish offers this creative solution. $6 Dusting Cleaning Foot Socks Why just walk around your house when you could clean it at the same time? Sounds too good to be true, so obviously I ordered a pair in super macho army green before realizing that despite the color options, their color would be totally random. So I crossed my fingers, toes, and prayed to the gods of internet shopping my green mop shoes would arrive. And what I got was... Not army green, obviously. Well, color aside, these seemed to be the same thing promised in the photos. There was just one problem, though. The size. The product description said one size fits most, so let's see if they can cover my flipper feet. Well, it took me a couple of tries, but I eventually got the first one on, and the second one too. Though not without it pinging off my foot a few times. Eventually, I was ready to wipe the floor with this product. And you know what? They're not bad. They're an oddly comfy way to sweep the floor, even though they do get dirty real quick. Verdict? Not entirely terrible. Evil Remover Now I'm gonna need you to go through the description of this next product with me so that it feels less like I'm having a stroke. It claims that this product helps get rid of phlegm dampness, constipation, and simple obesity. A full list of features reveals it can also help upset stomach and indigestion, Improves cold hands, feet, and uh, uterus? Wait, cold spleen? What? And evil removal. I'm, I'm sorry, evil removal? All right, I'll bite. What does this thing look like? Is that a ball of wax you stick into your belly button? You know what? For $3.73, Insta buy, I was kind of hyped for this super weird evil removing uterus chilling slim fast solution to arrive. But when it finally did, it was a little underwhelming. And when I opened the packet, the smell was intense. It was like a bowl of potpourri and bleach had a baby that had decided to directly attack my nose. Seriously, it smelled so bad I had to recheck the ingredients list. I'd looked up all the ingredients beforehand to make sure this product was safe to use, but I hadn't seen the etc. after them. Etc.? That could mean literally anything. Does Wish really think I'm going to put balls that claim to be powerful enough to remove evil on my body without me knowing what's inside them? Nope, not a chance, especially considering it smells like it's made of dead things. Verdict, evil. Trolled. Are you old enough to remember the original troll dolls? The plastic figurines with their bright, fuzzy hair were one of the biggest toy fads of the 1960s. They may have fallen out of fashion, but sellers on Wish have decided to bring them back into style in one of the weirdest ways possible. Yep, they've removed all the hair and created troll-style bodies that can fit lighters inside them. I have absolutely no idea why someone would make this, so of course, for $9, I bought it. And you know what? It came exactly as described. A strange, palm-sized, plastic husk of a toy that was just big enough to fit an average-sized lighter inside. I guess the one big advantage of this crazy combination is that, unlike a normal lighter, it's really hard to miss or lose. It might look a bit out of place if you're trying to impress guests by lighting a few candles at dinner. Unless you're trying to literally troll them. Verdict? I don't know what I expected. Killer Costume Michael Myers from the Halloween film franchise is a classic costume choice for many people come October 31st. Made up of just a scary mask and a jumpsuit, it's an easy outfit to put together, and Wish has no shortage of Mike Myers mask options. They all look pretty good in the pictures, with plenty of texture and freaky features. Now, I ordered one of these, and it sadly never arrived, but yeah, I'm okay with this, because the products that other customers have received turned out to be even scarier. 
This looks less like Michael Myers and more like that scene from Mrs. Doubtfire. And he's not the only one. Why did they have to give Michael eyebrows like that? Well, at least it still looks scary, even if it's for the wrong reason. Verdict? Clowning around. Now, Michael Myers isn't the only horror icon to be done dirty by Wish. Pennywise the Clown, from Stephen King's It, is another popular dress-up choice. However, with all his ruffles, face paint, and long, pointy teeth, a good costume of this character for a good price can be pretty hard to come by. But Wish offers a variety of outfit choices, and in the photos, they don't look that bad. Some even come in kids' sizes, and, uh, clown size? Wait, does that mean shoes are included? Finally, something that might fit my massive feet! Okay, well, after the Mike Myers mask not arriving, I didn't have enough faith in Wish to try buying any of these. But one customer claims they bought a Wish Pennywise costume for their brother for Halloween. And oh my god, what am I looking at? From the weirdly out-of-proportion facial features on the hood, to the oddly spiky hair, and the sad, striped pants, this guy has been well and truly duped. If I were this guy, I'd be packing it up and sending this straight back to hell where it clearly belongs. Verdict? This thing is fear itself. Suspicious Spy Cam now, Wish doesn't just offer plastic products. It also has a range of bizarre tech, like this supposed minicam. Uh, let's see here. Wi-Fi enabled, 1080p, night vision, remote monitoring. Hey, sounds like the perfect, albeit creepy, spy cam. So I ordered one and it eventually arrived with a couple of cables, grips, and holders as well. Not bad for something that cost nine bucks. But will it work? Well, the short answer is no. It didn't come with any kind of instructions, so I was left to figure it out myself. I tried to plug the charging cable that came with it in, but it just didn't fit. I tried a different one of my own, and that seemed to do the trick. After I turned it on, I tried to record something, anything with it, but the SD card came out blank. So I tried to connect it to my phone via my Wi-Fi, but nothing came up. I checked the product reviews to see if I was doing anything wrong, and unsurprisingly, I'm not the only one with these issues. Apparently, the camera isn't Wi-Fi enabled at all, and the picture quality is blurry despite the 1080p promise. Sorry, lads. Looks like we've all been duped here. Verdict? Disappointed. But for nine bucks, not surprised. Magnet Magic with every electronic item I own having a different type of charging port, I'm always tangled up in hundreds of different cables. If only there was one cable that could, I don't know, magnetically connect to a bunch of different heads. Wait, did Wish just answer my prayers with this magnetic rotating charging cable? And for $6? Sold. I've got to admit, I was really hopeful about this one. So when the cable and three separate charging plugs eventually arrived exactly as described, I was very optimistic. And you know what? I was right to be. Just as advertised, the cable swiveled in two directions up to 180 degrees, and all the magnetic heads snapped on without any issues. But does it work? Yes! I wasn't timing it or anything, but on a standard phone, it charges at about the same speed as a regular cable. Verdict? My. God. It worked. It. Worked. Weight Loss Woes Some people will do anything to try and quickly shift a few pounds, even turning to obviously scammy solutions like, and I can't believe I'm about to say this, magnets. Yep, even though there's not a drop of science behind the idea that magnets can help you lose weight, the market is flooded with them, and it's way worse on Wish. So I decided to look into one of these a bit deeper. In the product description of these magnetic toe rings, it states that the rings emit 1100 gauss of magnetic force to stimulate acupuncture points related to your metabolism. Right. Well, considering a regular fridge magnet has roughly 100 gauss of force, these sound pretty strong for only $2.87, so obviously I bought a pair. 
They arrived as expected, nothing out of the ordinary there, so I popped them on my toes to test them out. And honestly, I don't think these things had the strength of a fridge magnet between them. I had to get my toes within millimeters of one another before I felt the slightest attraction between the two. 1100 goss my foot, or technically my toe. Verdict, your money's better spent on a salad. Not so precious pearls. A lot of people appreciate pearls when they're set in something like jewelry. But have you ever wanted to get your pearls fresh from the source? Well, for as little as $3.85, Wish offers you the option to crack your own clam and release a guaranteed 6 to 10 pearls within. This seems super sus, so I decided to buy one and see if these things were the real deal. And when it arrived, well, the size alone was pretty disappointing. The images made the shells look large, but this is barely half the size of my palm. Okay, well, let's see if there's anything inside. Huh. I was promised at least six pearls, and six pearls I received. Now, I'm no expert, but to me, these don't feel like pearls. They're oddly uniform, unlike real pearls, and have more of a plastic feel. But hey, I'm no pearl purveyor, so if you want to find out for yourself, purchase your own pearls. Verdict? It probably beads. Crappy Cloth Microfiber cloths are a genius invention that replace the need for disposable paper towels. Which begs the question, why the heck is Wish selling an unholy love child of the two? I'm not even going to question it at this point. I'm just going to buy a roll of whatever this is for four bucks. Well, I mean, I thought I was getting a roll from the picture, but what I actually got was this. It's just a single microfiber cloth that I bought for four whole dollars. Well, I feel like an idiot. What's worse is that it's not even made out of the right material. It's made out of velvet. So when I tried to mop up a spillage, the material absorbed a fraction of it and spread the rest of it everywhere. Verdict? Avoid this wet mess at all costs. Well, I'm off to have a very awkward conversation with my credit card company. Uh, what's the weirdest thing you've ever bought from Wish? And would you like another video reviewing even more bizarre products I've found online? Let me know down in the comments below, and thanks for watching.